So check it out, the Cherry Bomb. Hey guys, I'm Mark with Art of RVing. We appreciate you coming by. If you are a subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're not, hit that subscribe button. I don't know, somewhere around here. <laughs> and hit us up on Instagram, the Art of RVing. And today, Sisters on the Fly, the Cherry Bomb Cargo Trailer. Let's do it. So I've got Linda Ann here, shy little thing. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, Sisters on the Fly, what is your number? 8773. Okay, and she is an original trailer, and that's saying a lot for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna check out the cherry bomb camp hair don't care no makeup hadn't got my contact lenses in they didn't tell me a handsome man was coming to visit Ooh, handsome man didn't tell me i'll give you 10 minutes to quit saying that <laughs> oh okay, so, so anyway she was telling me this will open and become a cargo trailer yes it is a cargo trailer well, yeah well sure it is and will become an, one again yes you'll see how the bed comes okay, out the awning did you have that specifically made yes this this is a uh, true sumbrella awning fabric uh-huh um it it was made by Beverly with So Country Awnings out of North Carolina. Uh huh. Um, she does a lot of nice awnings for sisters. We design what we want, pick our fabric, and she does a great job of putting them together. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I guess this would be the front porch. This is my front porch. All right, so check out what she's done here. How cute <laughs> is this? It all matches. She was telling me this is actually her icebox. Yes, that that is actually a, it's a cooler. It it's got ah. hinges in the middle, so it lifts up on either side. Yeah, her refrigerator in there. This side has junk in it. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. And I love the cherry. Cherry bomb. Yes. Oh, that is cool. And there's her number right there. That's too cool. And there's her cute, cute door. Man, the door's awesome because it's so big. And it's like the biggest part of the trailer with the dots on it. You know? Okay, last night she had a little visit from a deer. Oh, yeah. You can see the rub marks where he was rubbing his antlers right yeah. there. 3 30 in the morning, she comes out, there's a deer right here. They're staring eye to eye. So I opened okay. that door and came out and scared him. He scared me. He snorted and took off. He's knocked down that awning pole over there. Yeah, not, Three o'clock in the morning. You can see where he scratched the side of my Woo. beloved Coca Cola cooler. Scary. So you've yeah. got a little fence here that you yeah. just falls down I guess and so I yeah. just thought the trailer was really cute and I've had a lot of fun with it and I just kind of thought the tongue was an eyesore so oh, right I just mm -hmm. uh, went to Home Depot and yeah. these pickets actually are like survey stakes and then uh, you know screwed these uh, survey stakes on there and it, it was originally designed you know to fit snug up mm -hmm. with the trailer but your husband mounted my the beloved husband gum. did me a huge favor yeah, and put well. this spare tire on here and it he it, it kind of messed up my my know. plan, but it still works and it's, it's fine. Actually it's, it's, it's actually a shelf and it, right, it literally folds shelves. up kind of flat. And, and then you can make it whatever season it is. You yep, put your I season just, decorations out here, it. which I love. Yep. Okay, yep. so I know everyone was very interested to see, check out the inside, inside. of the cherry bomb. <laughs> Look at this place. It looks like a place to go eat. <laughs> it's like decorated out. I well, mean, I tell you, at nighttime, when I'm laid up in here and I have all these little lights, it's just very um, relaxing. And then, of course, you swung my TV there. So I did. I so can, I got her TV so I could have some more room. Yeah, so when I'm camping uh -huh. with my scouts, they'll, yeah. they'll pile their chairs up out there. I love and that. they can watch TV from out or video, whatever, oh, that's from fun. outside. And check out how she's done her fan. It blows straight down. It's killer. Yeah, I've got the know? fresh air vent up here. Uh huh. And yeah. I also have an air conditioner, which if I camp in here in July and August, I'll take this out and mount the air conditioner. These are plastic solo cups. Oh my gosh. And they are covered with fabric, with Mod Podge glue. Oh um, my gosh. And they're actually weatherproof. I have another yeah, set sure. that I usually hang out. Oh, that's but, cool. And then she's yeah. got her shelves here with her little, I guess that's Rick Rack, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, and they got all that little, storage. Another little cooler right here. Oh, for, sure. For my sure. water. And this is her bed with all her cool little pillows. Her sister's on the flasher. And <laughs> that is a ceramic heater. I've never seen one like that. And if that. you look at the buttons on the top, you'll right? see that it's got a thermostat. So you can set it anywhere between 60 and 85 degrees. Oh, I've never seen one. It's so cool looking. And I, I'm gonna I tell love you what, that. It heats this box up in about <laughs> three minutes. I'll bet it does. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, I'm swinging around. Look at this. She's done. Oh, it's the best. So I've got my microwave and I've got a crock pot down there on the third shelf. I've got my toaster oven. I've got an ice maker. Yeah. And I've got all these little drawers right here that I keep all my, you know, little pots and pans or whatever else I need. And 
my propane stove is, is stored down there if I want to take it out. Oh, it's actually right there. That's it. If I want to yeah. cook outside. I even have cherries on my favorite plate. Oh, yeah, she does. <laughs> So, ice maker, which I love. Yeah, and yeah. then this little plastic thing is just freestanding, and it's mm -hmm. got all my clothes and pajamas and my t-shirts and my oh pants my down there. She and then I got all my there. towels, extra blankets, and all my little bathroom she stuff. Does. I'm going to be retiring next year after 30 years as a Girl Scout leader and I'll no longer be using this trailer. I have been talking with my husband about buying another trailer but the honest to goodness truth is as I've shopped and as I've looked and as I've looked at my sister's trailers, the casitas, and I think about all the stuff that I have in here, mm -hmm. I have not seen a camper of any size up to 27 foot that has the storage space that I have created in here. And the roof is arched. The roof is That's arched, cool. so I can stand yeah. up in here. Yeah, it's arched, which um, is great. Yeah, and this is actually, the, the trailer is a Cargo Mate Trailblazer, which was manufactured uh, by Forest River, which is an RV manufacturer. So you've got your RV cam locks, and you know, I've got electricity, and you know, they can pretty much finish it out however you want it. I didn't want it finished out. Yeah, I awesome. wanted everything to be freestanding so that I could remove it and still use the trailer as a cargo trailer. Right. You know, to haul, Smart. haul my scouts. Absolutely. The inspiration uh -huh. for the paint job uh -huh. was this apron, which as a 30-year veteran Girl Scout leader, I have been wearing for years outdoors cooking. Mm -hmm. This is a very old, vintage cherry apron. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was kind of the inspiration for... The, everything that you see so that so it all came from the apron it all came from the apron because you have really done something awesome here okay linda ann the cherry bomb can you <laughs> sing a few bars of the cherry bomb how'd it go i don't cherry know. bomb <laughs> Who's, who even sang it i don't even uh, remember uh thank you so much we You're really welcome. thank you for your time thank you for your time yeah we, we love appreciate showing it. off our trailers yeah, it's awesome thank you so much and we'll see you down the road absolutely all right bye